federal law enforcement officials conducting a criminal probe of heavy machinery manufacturer Caterpillar Incorporated searched three of its facilities on Thursday, prompting a sharp sell-off in the company's stock. A spokeswoman for the U.S. Attorney Office for the Central District of Illinois, Sharon Paul, confirmed that federal law enforcement officials conducted searches at locations in Peoria, East Peoria and Morton, Illinois but did not say why agents raided the three facilities. Caterpillar, in a statement issued on Thursday afternoon, said it believed the search was part of an internal revenue service investigation related to profits earned by a Swiss parts subsidiary, Caterpillar SARL, or XARL. It said that while the warrant is broadly drafted, we believe the execution of the search warrant is regarding, among other things, Export filings that relate to the XARL matter first disclosed in Caterpillar's Form 10-K filed on February 17, 2015, and updated in Caterpillar's most recent Form 10-K filed with the SEC on February 15, 2017. Agencies involved in the search included the ERS Criminal Investigation Division, the U.S. Department of Commerce's Bureau of Industry and Security's Office of Export Enforcement, and the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation as Office of Inspector General, Paul said. Officials at the agencies could not be reached for comment. Caterpillar shares fell 4.3% to close at $94.36 on the New York Stock Exchange after trading as low as $92.84. Er $62 BLN. Caterpillar Contests. The apparent escalation of the government's tax dispute with Caterpillar comes as the Trump administration and leaders in Congress have said they want to launch a broad overhaul of the corporate tax code, lowering rates and designing a system to encourage companies to keep jobs and profits within the United States. Caterpillar has also had a prominent place in the Trump administration's effort to promote U.S. manufacturing. The company's outgoing chief executive, Douglas Oberhillman, met with President Donald Trump at the White House last week. Caterpillar is fighting an internal revenue service demand that the company pay $2 billion in taxes and penalties for profits assigned to its Swiss parts distribution subsidiary, according to filings with the Securities and Exchange Commission. That subsidiary was also the subject of a 2014 Senate committee report that concluded Caterpillar shifted billions in profits abroad and had $2.4 billion in taxes deferred or avoided from 2012. As a result of those licensing and servicing agreements, over the next 13 years from 2000 to 2012, Caterpillar shifted to Xarl in Switzerland taxable income from its non-U.S. part sales totaling more than $8 billion and deferred or avoided paying U.S. taxes totaling about $2.4 billion, the report said. It said the arrangement resulted in Caterpillar paying an effective tax rate of only 4% to 6%. Caterpillar, in its 2016 annual report, said it is vigorously contesting the IRS demand. We believe that the relevant transactions complied with applicable tax laws and did not violate judicial doctrines, it stated. The Senate committee report also criticized Caterpillar's accountants, PwC, saying that the firm's roles as auditor and tax consultant represented a conflict of interest. PwC on Thursday said it had no comment.